Good afternoon. My name is David Lane. I'm here with Randy Schooneman and Brandon. We're with Bulldog Rooter. Today's date is December 15th, 2016. And I'm about to perform a video inspection for the main line of 2530 West Dean Avenue here in Spokane, Washington. Now as I pull back, I'm going to describe the things that I see in the line, any problem areas, anything that looks good, anything that looks bad. Um, and so I'm going to continue. We just got done jetting this line. Um, we were out here a couple days ago and we're not able to clear it. Um, so we just got done jetting. This line is almost a hundred feet even from my count. What we're looking at here is the, uh, the city sewer. The, and as I pull back we're going to go through what's called the hub. And from the hub back the homeowner is responsible for everything from the hub back. Now the main line is where every everything from your house drains um, and goes down to the main line and enters the sewer. Now as I pull back, um, what it looks like here is a four inch tile pipe, clay tile pipe. Now clay tile pipe is laid in two to five foot sections and the most problematic areas for tile pipe is the joints. You can see here this is a bit of a separation over a, over time the lines settle and the joints separate. That one's very minor and doesn't look too bad. The little wisps that you see is uh, methane gas from the sewer. There's another joint. Um, the bottom of the line is always going to be indicated by where the water is or by where my light is. So the bottom of the line is actually up in the left hand corner of the screen. I'm going to continue to pull back here. Passing 94 feet. There's a separation. I'm going to continue to pull back. This line was very sludgy. I cabled it um, twice, 125 feet, and put a blow bag in a uh, few days prior to this and was unable to clear it, put the camera in and sure enough there was some sludge build up. Um, the jetter seemed to uh, clean the pipe very well. You can see uh, that there's not much sludge sitting in the line right here. Now what we have here is a pretty healthy separation. You can see in the right hand corner um, this will prevent the flow of uh, solids if it is on the bottom of the pipe. It looks like that that's the top of the pipe so shouldn't be too problematic but that is a very se healthy separation that's what a, a healthy separation looks like I'm going to continue to pull back continue to pull back there's a separation another one you can see a little bit of water pooling there um, nothing to be too concerned about I'm going to continue to pull back here another separation The width of my camera is about an inch and a half thick. So this is looking like about a quarter inch thick and it stair steps up. The separations aren't as problematic when they stair step down, but when they stair step up, the flow of water, solids, and anything else going down this line is uh, prohibited. Going to continue to pull back. You can see another separation there at the bottom of the line bit of water pooling there. Um, getting ready to pass 76 feet here, 75. And we're having a little bit of an aspect change. The bottom of the line now is in the bottom left hand corner and looks like it's migrating uh, to the bottom of the screen. Going to continue to pull back. There's a separation. That is one that stair steps down. So the flow of solids and um, liquid is not prohibited. It's going to continue to pull back. There's a separation there at that joint. A little bit of an aspect change. Okay, here we have a uh, the bottom of the pipe is in the left top left hand corner and uh, on the screen about center screen bottom right it looks to what could be a hole in the line. Um, this is not good. It is. It absolutely uh, 
you know, it's very problematic. There's a lot of things can happen. Earth can fall in here. The line uh, eventually can collapse. The integrity of the line is um, almost gone when there's a, a hole that size in the line. Um, wanted to point that out. That's out. I'm at 66 feet right here from the clean out I'm working from. So that's a very problematic uh, um, thing in this line. I'm going to continue to pull back. Bottom of the screen is in the left hand corner. There's a joint that stair steps up. Separation. There. That looks like that looks like what to be another breakage in the line. Another hole in the line. At the uh, 62 foot mark. Same as before, the structural integrity of the line is in jeopardy. Earth can fall in. There we have some, uh, a bit of debris in the line right here. You can see rocks. That is not good. It's very indicative of, of the line being open somewhere where it shouldn't. Here's a pretty healthy separation here. Um, and you can see the Start, there's another rock. You can see the start of the sludge buildup. Now the bottom of the screen is, uh, of course, where the water is at, where the light is. You can look at the top of the screen. That's the top of the line. And that residue built up on the line is the sludge that we just fought through. Only this entire line was filled with it to the point where I was not able to push my camera past it. That's, what, that's why we had to jet this line to get it open. I'm going to continue to pull back, passing the 50 foot mark here. The minor separation there. I'm going to continue to pull back here. And here's another, there's a good shot of it. That is another hole in the line. Um, we're at about 47 feet. That's a good shot of it right there. That is an a absolute. Um, you know that's kind of a that's a that's a time when you need you know you need to start thinking about your line being replaced because it could go um, from what I understand it could go uh, any time you know the structural integrity is absolutely in jeopardy so I'm going to continue to pull back there's a separation there and an and another hole there here at 45 feet. Another hole at the top of the, or it's actually uh, probably on the left hand side of the line. It's at the top of our screen, but it's um, the left hand side of the line. That's a pretty large hole there. I'm going to continue to pull back. And there's an, uh, we can, there's a good shot of it. That's actually earth there that's dirt um, another hole in the line um, we're at 43 feet here and there's an there's what looks like to be another one there at 41 feet um, and some change 41 and a half feet there you can see the debris in the line not good. I'm going to continue to pull back. Passing 38 feet here. There's a pretty pretty healthy separation here at about 35 feet. Stair steps up. A little bit of water pulling here at this separation. This is a this is about as big a separation as we've seen. My camera's an inch and a half thick. That's about a inch separation. You can see the water pulling. Um, to see a line very sludgy, um, you can tell that there has been water pulling. That's what creates the sludge. Um, the standing water that's 
preventing solids and uh, liquid from flowing to the city sewer. And you can see here, you can see the uh, residue of the sludge. This could be the problem area where I could not push my camera through. This is right around the footage that I couldn't get through. You can see the residue of the sludge there on the on the line. Going to continue to pull back here. Another separation. Another separation here. Going to continue to pull back just now, passing the 20 foot mark. Going to continue to pull back here. There's a separation. A little bit of standing water here. Try to get my camera lens cleaned off. Sorry about that. A bit of standing water there. There we go. And she's obscured again. There we go. Pretty healthy separation there. You can see the sludge build up there. The bottom of the line is at the top of the screen. The bottom of our our screen that we're looking at is actually the top of the line, and that is where um, you know you can see a lot of the sludge build up. You can see our jetter did, really did a number on that. I'm going to continue to pull back here. Going to continue to pull back. Looks like we transitioned from a tile into cash. We continue to pull back here as I'm coming out of the clean out. Here's the clean out that we're working from. Here's the big um, oil heater, what it looks like. Again, this is. David Lane, I'm here with Randy Schooneman and Brandon Riddlin, Riddler, Brandon Riddler, excuse me, and um, we're with Bulldog Rooter. Today's date is December 15, 2016, and this is a video inspe inspection of 2350 West Dean. Thank you for choosing Bulldog Rooter.